Commissioner Williams? Here. Commissioner Knox? Here. Commissioner Weber? Here. Commissioner Voskel? Here. Commissioner Udell? Here. And Commissioner Markline? Here. Six present, we have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, second item of business is the approval of minutes under consent. Seeing that it's under consent, no additions, deletions. Those minutes are approved. Item number three, the approval of final plats and certified survey maps and easement releases. There are none for review this evening. Item number four, set for public hearing. There are no items set for public hearing this evening. Our first item under old business, item number five, is a public hearing conditional use permit to request to construct a garage crematory at 1010 North Wright Road. Hanky Clarson Funeral Home. And it looks like, John, you're going to be giving the presentation. That is correct. All right. So the property owner has submitted a conditional use request to build a second building on the same lot that currently contain multifamily residential to the south and west that zoned R3. Here's a site plan for the project. The proposed building would be approximately 2,600 square feet and would contain a garage, a crematory, and an office. It would be located on the eastern portion of the property and the location of the building exceeds all setback requirements. The property could be accessed from three different ingress and egress points, one along North Wright Road and two along Stewart Street. Those are all existing. New landscaping includes four new street trees, three along Stewart Street and one um, along North Wright Road. Shrubs and a planter bed will be placed around the proposed building and then a landscape buffer will be located on the eastern side of the property. Um, and that will contain shrubs and a small berm. The building will require connections to water and sanitary sewer mains in the Stewart Street right of way. And because the project disturbs less than one acre of land, on site stormwater management is not required. And this building will be used for operational purposes and is not expected to generate additional traffic to the site. However, six new parking stalls will be placed at the near the entrance of the proposed building, um, including one barrier free stall. This is a floor plan for the building. Uh, this is oriented slightly differently. The south is towards the right side of this picture and north is to the left side. And so the garage area will be a four car garage on the southern portion of the building. And in this area, there will also be a mortuary cooler. In the middle of the building will be the crematory area um, that will have the cremation chamber. And then on the north side of the building will be a lobby and a small office. And so besides the two garage doors, there will be an entrance on the southern end of the building and one on the western side. So the elevation plans shown here are slightly different than what was included in the um, meeting materials for this evening. Um, the only difference is that lighting is shown on the western elevation and there is um, one less window on the north side of the building um, but this is this elevation plan is what was reviewed and what's reflected in the site plan review letter. The exterior would be composed of steel lap siding and four feet of brick veneer wainscot. Windows will be installed on all sides of the building. Um, and again, that lighting will be residential style lighting on the western side of the building. And then building colors and materials will be chosen to match as closely as possible to the existing building. And so I included a picture of the existing building. This is from 2019 from Google Street View. Um, 
but the colors that are trying to be matched are an off-white color on the lap siding and then a beige brick color on the facade here. And so this project will meet all applicable zoning and building requirements. And so staff have not received any written comments regarding the project um, and recommends approval of the conditional use permit subject to the conditions listed in the staff report. And I can take any questions at this time. Thank you, John. Are there any questions of plan commission members regarding uh, the conditional use permit at 1010 North Ray Road? Commissioner Williams? Yeah, uh, so neighbors within so many feet were, were notified of this? Yes. Uh, I, oh, go ahead. Yes, that's <laughs> correct. Uh, all property owners and uh, residents within 400 feet uh, were notified of the public hearing for review of the conditional use this evening. Okay, and you got no, no responses back from anybody? That is correct. Okay, thank you. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. Are there any other questions of commission members prior to opening the public hearing? Okay, I don't see any. At this time, I'll open the public hearing. Um, I'm going to acknowledge there are a list of potential speakers here this evening. Uh, Russ Karash, I apologize, Mr. Karash, if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, from Keystone Funeral Home Design. Ryan Lesendor from All Faiths Funeral Home and Cremation Services and Roger Henke of Henke Clarkson Funeral Home. Um, for those individuals who I just mentioned and for those that maybe I am not aware of that are here, um, this would be your time to speak at the public hearing. Um, what we would ask is that you state your name and address for the record and we are recording this um, on JATV. So with that being said, I'll open the public hearing at this time. Anyone wishing to speak, uh, please uh, let us know. I believe you're still in the lobby, but I'm currently, Dwayne, are you letting people in? Uh, they should all be in admitted, the room? I believe. Yes. Okay. okay. Is there anyone wishing to speak? Anyone wishing to speak regarding the conditional use permit request to construct a garage crematory at 1010 North Wright Road, Henke Clarkson Funeral Home? Anyone wishing to speak? Seeing no hands raised or anyone motioning to speak, I will close the public hearing. Um, oh, prior to that, although uh, Commissioner Williams did ask, but uh, procedurally, I do need to ask if there were any written public comment submitted for the public hearing portion of the meeting this evening. There were no written comments received. Okay, thank you. So again, the public hearing now is closed. I will ask, um, uh, we've closed the public hearing. So I would, this time I would ask, what are the wishes of the commission? Commissioner Mark Klein. Uh, just to repeat what I said at our last meeting. I may be the contractor on this, so I will be abstaining from conversation and voting. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Weber. I'm prepared to make a motion if you're ready to receive one. Absolutely. Okay. I move to find that the proposed development is compliant with the standards for conditional use approval as prescribed by the Janesville Zoning Ordinance and approve a conditional use permit to construct a garage crematory building at 1010 North Wright Road, subject to the conditions listed in the planning division memorandum dated December 21st, 2020. Thank you. There's a motion by Commissioner Weber. Uh, Commissioner Williams, you have your hand raised. I'll second that. A second by Commissioner Williams. Uh, Commissioner Weber, you still have the floor. Any comments? I have no further comments. Commissioner Williams? Nothing further, thank you. With that said, I'll ask uh, the secretary for a roll call vote. Thank you, please signify your support for opposition to the motion on the floor. Commissioner Boddicher? Commissioner Williams? Yes. Commissioner Knox? Yes. Commissioner Weber? Yes. Commissioner Vosco? Yes. Commissioner Udell? Yes. Commissioner Markline? 
has abstained. Uh, the motion carries five votes, no opposition. Thank you. Uh, so what that, uh, the conditional use permit stays within the purview of the plan commission. It does not need to go to the city council. So uh, congratulations and good luck on your project at uh, Hanky Clarson Funeral Home. Thank you for Thank joining you us this evening. Thank you. Thank you all. Yep. Thank you very much. We appreciate your support. Thank you. Good luck with your project. Thank you. Moving on to item number six under new business. Uh, the first item is action upon establishing the relocation order for the East Milwaukee Street and Randall Avenue intersection and the West Memorial Drive and North Washington Street intersection highway safety improvement program projects. And it looks like Wayne, this is yours. Yes, present. thank you. Thank you, Dwayne Chair, Planning Director. The, uh, the intersections of East Milwaukee Street and Randall Avenue, as well as the intersection of West Memorial Drive and uh, North Washington Street are scheduled for safety improvement upgrades uh, next year and that, uh, I'm sorry, in the year 2022. As part of a safety screening analysis, which was conducted on more than 60 local intersections throughout the city uh, two years ago in 2018, the intersections of East Milwaukee Street and Randall Avenue, as well as West, uh, West Memorial Drive in North Washington were identified as having high crash frequencies, ranking uh, in the top 10, ranking fourth and eighth respectively citywide. As a result, the city has uh, su successfully applied for and obtained federal hazard safety improvement program funding in order to implement safety related improvements at both of these intersections. The uh, recommended improvements include the, the following items, upgrading traffic signals, uh, which also include pedestrian signals uh, and pedestrian countdown timers. It includes creating high, visible, high visibility crosswalks, replacing access ramps to meet ADA requirements, and updating traffic signal timing to maximize the efficiency of the, uh, the signal operations. Uh, since the right-of-way limits are tight at both of these intersections, the city will need to acquire what's known as temporary limited easements from the abutting property owners located in three uh, quadrants, uh, which are located <clears throat> uh, between uh, two of the intersections. The first uh, at West Memorial in North Washington would include uh, 198 square feet at the southwest uh, uh, corner of that intersection. Um, at Randall and East Milwaukee Street, the northeast and southeast uh, quadrants will require very minor uh, temporary limited easements. Those are shown in more details on the exhibits A and B in your uh, packet of materials that accompanies this, this uh, staff report. The project must be designed and constructed to comply with the Wisconsin Department of Transportation standards. The temporary limited easements are needed to allow for necessary grading and construction activities, which occur uh, just beyond the, the right of way and will only uh, be impacted during construction. Only those areas that are affected will terminate upon uh, completion of the, the signalized uh, intersection improvements. Planning staff is recommending that the commission find the proposed acquisition of temporary limited easements for these safety improvements to be consistent with city plans, noting specifically that the commission has not reviewed the financial aspects of these transactions. And with that, I would be happy to answer any questions the commission may have uh, regarding the uh, uh, the review of this relocation order. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Are there any questions of staff regarding these the intersection improvements? I see none. I hear none. Um, is, have, when was the last time we had one of these um, projects? I just was curious about this. 
The most recent example would uh, would also be along East Racine Street at at Randall. Okay. Uh, at least the review of of that um, similar type of relocation order, where very similar upgrades to the intersection um, will occur in terms of replacement of signals, um, pedestrian walks, and pedestrian signal timing. Uh, improvements at uh, at that location, which obviously is very close to one of Janesville's two uh, high schools. Right, right. Okay, thank you. Um, what are the wishes of the commission if there are no questions this evening? Uh, Commissioner Knox? I'm prepared to make a motion. Okay. Um, I move to find the proposed acquisition of temporary limited easements for improvements at the intersections of East Milwaukee Street and Randall Avenue and West Memorial Drive and North Washington Street to be consistent with city plans and further recommend that the city council proceed with these transactions, noting that the Planning Commission has not reviewed the financial aspects of these transactions. So there's a motion by Commissioner Knox. I see Commissioner Udell, your hand is raised as well. I'll second. Okay, with that, again, motion by Commissioner Knox, second by Commissioner Udell. Commissioner Knox, anything further? Nothing further. Commissioner Udell? Nothing for me, thank you. At this time, I'll ask for a roll call vote, please. Thank you. Commissioner uh, Badger? Absent. Commissioner Williams? Yes. Commissioner Knox? Yes. Commissioner Weber? Yes. Commissioner Voskel? Yes. Commissioner Udell? Yes. And Commissioner Markline? Yes. Thank you. All members in support of the, uh, the motion on the floor. It passes. Okay, thank you. And that uh, action then goes to the City Council and it will be reviewed on January 11th, 2021. All right, moving on to item number seven, the planning director's report. Yes, thank you. At the city council's last meeting on December 14th, the council approved the, uh, the land division that created the development site uh, out in front of Farm and Fleet for Chick-fil-A. They also approved a resolution uh, granting final plat approval of the Prairie Woods ninth edition and then also approve the project plan uh, amendment for TID district number 23 in the downtown area. The, uh, the city also received notification uh, last week that Janesville has been designated a bronze level bicycle friendly community. Uh, that's an award uh, granted by the League of American Bicyclists. That, that award recognizes Janesville's commitment to improving conditions for all people who bike through investments in bike, bicycle education programs, bicycle events that promote and encourage people to use, I'm sorry, to choose biking. Uh, it deals with pro bicycle uh, type policies as well as infrastructure. And so uh, the league's bicycle friendly program sets the standard for how communities build and benchmark progress toward improving bicycling within the community. So Janesville finds itself in a very high or good company with other communities across the nation in, in this respect, and it's it's quite the recognition. So this is the the second year, um, consecutive year that the his, that the city has applied for uh, this uh, this award and received it on its on its second attempt. So. Um, great news story for Janesville, and it's, it's just an indication of, uh, again, some of the quality of life, amenities, and recreational improvements that uh, that Janesville provides. The third item I wanted to mention just very briefly is, is an item that uh, planning staff would like to add to the next plan commission agenda, which will occur at the first meeting next year on January 4th, and that deals with uh, the city's comprehensive plan and more specifically uh, updating the comprehensive plan, which is an item that uh, um, is included in the city's strategic plan. It's, it's, it's obviously something that um, needs to occur. It's uh, a document that is the, the 
the guiding uh, principle, if you will, for most of the items that the plan commission reviews and many of the items uh, involved in the city council's decision making regarding growth and development. And so staff intends to provide a presentation that will uh, capture what the what the plan is, uh, what the plan does, and our recommended approach to moving uh, forward with an update process. And so we'd like to share that with the, the commission um, on January 4th at our next meeting and also get some input and direction based on the information that we would share. Finally, uh, we would like to wish the commission uh, and all those listening out there a very safe and enjoyable and re relaxing uh, Christmas holiday later this week. And that's all I had. Okay, thanks, Dwayne. I I'm going to start with the with the last thing first um, from your report because the, some of the things I want to talk about are not allowed in the plan commission announcements, but. I don't necessarily see it's a safe, uh, a relaxing weekend for staff when you're going to start January 4th with the comp plan. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully all of you have uh, have most of that done, and that there isn't a lot of wiggle room between now and the fourth uh, for all of you to have the comprehensive plan conversation. But we thank you very much for that. Um, the second thing is, I, I do not know, and I, I certainly don't want to put Ashley on the spot, but I believe Ashley is the Gazette um, individual that oftentimes is in attendance for this meeting. And I would ask that if they haven't considered uh, an article about the trails in the city of Janesville, that this would be a perfect time to highlight. Um, I oftentimes think that people um, think trails can only be used uh, at a certain time of year, which is the furthest thing from the truth. And if we get some some snow, uh, you know, there's snowshoeing, there's cross country skiing, there's a lot of things that can happen on the city trails. And so it's it should not go unknown that the city uh, applied and has received this reward. That's pretty admirable. And we're really fortunate to have not only uh, the, the award, but the number of miles of trails that we have in the city. Um, to say the least, uh, along the Ice Age Trail as well. So pretty cool. Um, the other two things are more uh, about roads, and I'm going to start with our local road and then just ask to have some consideration for uh, a state road uh, request. So the first one is, if you haven't seen, uh, Ryan Road has now completed, um, and it, it is a nice, it is a nice shortcut to say the least. Um, however, it appears that the lights are not operational on, is that Morse Street? I believe it is. Um, yes. At Morse and Ryan. So my question is this, um, as someone who has traveled that way quite a bit, it would be great if those lights could be um, working sooner rather than later. It's quite dangerous right there, um, as everyone has found that that's a very nice road to travel to get to, uh, you know, the complexes on the other side. Um, but also, it, it's a windy road, Morse is, and um, some depth perception problems that appear to be challenging. And I just hope we can get those lights uh, going sooner rather than later. Any info on that? I'm aware that uh, they were very much interested in in providing that uh, that connection as early as possible, and the the signals um, are on their way. I think they were trying to relieve some of the pressure as as soon as possible from the from the other construction activity. So, I don't know exactly when, but I know that uh, ideally they wanted to. Uh, open the roadway with the signals operational at the time, but since that wasn't possible, I think there was still uh, benefit in value in allowing it to uh, to be functional without the signals for a interim period of time. Okay. But I will follow up with the uh, public works director on that. Okay. Uh, the second one, unfortunately, is also similar request, um, but it has to do with state highways, and it is uh, Highway 26 and Highway 14 with the inability for um, individuals to turn onto the interstate with that ramp being closed. There is a substantial queuing backup um, of semis from the intersection of 14 and 26. And I guess 
I just wanted noted for the record, I don't know what the timing is of, of the completion of the ramp, or for that matter, when they start construction on the intersection of Morse and 26, what that's going to look like if we now already have some bottleneck on 14 and 26 um, of queuing of trucks and cars turning onto 14 East to then therefore get on the interstate to go what I would call South. Um, so I, I just, I, I think there's a little bit of a, if we could just kind of find out from a timing perspective, I, I don't anticipate, uh, it still looks like there's a way to go on the ramp, but it is a pretty significant uh, backup. And I've received phone calls on that one. <laughs> so, but those, those are those are my uh, those are my things that I wanted to add to the director's report. So um, um, I've, I'll move to item number seven, uh, plan commission announcements. Commissioner Knox. Thanks, Kathy. Uh, um, I just wanted to say uh, thank you as a volunteer for the city. Um, it seems like it's been a decade or two since we met in person. <laughs> and um, the, from the technology standpoint to the agendas, um, everything is, is flowing really well. And I was sitting back and looking at this this meeting that we're in right now, and it it's almost like an orchestra that's finally in tune. Not to say that I don't want to, I don't want to do this forever, but um, <laughs> I think everybody has really adapted well and I just wanted to say kudos to the in, entire city and uh, city staff and specifically uh, uh, Dwayne and Brian. You've been here each and every day uh, and uh, as well as JTB 12 again, knocked it out of the park. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I would agree. Um, it, it, I think to the point where people have gotten to be very, um, it's just kind of the way to do business now, but if you have, we have a little flashback of all the little giddy ups and the conversations and the links and the phone and whatever. We've we've all come a long way, and and hopefully we won't have to do this much longer. Um, but I think for the very near future, we are going to have to continue to do this. But absolutely, couldn't agree more, Commissioner Knox. Anyone else? Plan Commission announcements. With that, I would like to wish all of you a happy holiday and an awesome 2021. If I could scream properly and have streamers and things going on, I would. Um, in the meantime, stay healthy, stay well, and we'll see you in 2021 right here on Teams. Thank you. The meeting is adjourned. See you later. Happy Thanks. holidays. Goodbye. Have a good holidays. <laughs>